Number 63, a student isolated 25 grams of a compound following a procedure that would theoretically yield 81 grams. What was his percent yield? Okay, so it looks like as soon as we see the word percent yield being thrown out, we like to do the percent yield formula. It's basically just a percent formula. It's this one, all right? So percent yield equals the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield times 100. You could think of this as part divided by whole, because that's what a percent is. Now here, the theoretical yield is always what you find on paper. When we start getting into more in depth into finding percent yields, they're technically never going to give you the theoretical yield. We have to use stoichiometry to get it. However, in this case, they said you would theoretically yield 81 grams. Theoretic yields, or a theoretical yield, means if everything went perfectly and there was no, you know, uh, error, like there was no human error, there was no error in any machines if you were using any, like, equipment. So technically, if everything went well and dandy, we should have produced 81 grams, and that goes on the bottom. However, the student actually isolated, actually produced. Isolated kind of means like make. They actually made 25 grams when they did the actual procedure. That's the actual yield. The actual yield is in experiment. Okay, so the student actually made 25 grams. Now, since the unit is gram over gram, you can kind of get rid of these units. Okay, because units with math, it's kind of making it a little bit harder. But that's it. Now we just got to solve. So I can think of the percent yield as just a x. And now we just use algebra. I'll divide by 100, right? I'll divide by 100. Actually, actually, no, it's x equals this. So I don't even have to do that. I could just do this straight uh, division and then multiplication. So I'll just say 25 divided by 81 times 100. And it's roughly a 30 point, actually, there's two sig figs here, so technically we only need two sig figs, so it would be 31. So 31%. So basically, it's like kind of scoring on an exam. The highest score that you could possibly get is a 100. This person got a 31, meaning that there was a significant error, all right? But that's what you're going to see, and that's what you're going to see, guys, in your chem lab. There's going to be a lot of error, but that's okay. Because life isn't perfect, all right? No one's perfect. The equipment's not perfect. So life lesson, there's no such thing as perfection, all right? So, you know, just try your best, okay? But that's it. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, you know, click the subscribe button if you want to help us out. And, you know, thank you so much for that. I'll see you in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye.